I guess if there's a single most important person that's responsible for the media ministry in our church, it would be Peter right here. Of course, you would know, if you would have listened to him on the radio, you would hear about the pumpkin eater. He's on every talk show. He knows every issue in the island, every situation. They tell him he talk too long. Sometimes they cut him off. Sometimes he just keep on going. But you know, I take, I've taken him quite a few places we've been together. Been to Indiana, Chicago, various places. I remember especially when we arrived one time at Zed Nest, he said, Pastor, I'm going to do something at Zed Nest and I want you to be there. And of course, as we were, as I was carrying him through, I saw people coming out of the various offices and they say, That's the pumpkin eater. That's the pumpkin eater. And they say, Where, 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 where? where? I said, not me. <laughs> and they were looking and they came out. They couldn't believe, first of all, that he was like this. Of course, here's the testimony he's going to share about how he got like that. But they couldn't believe that he would utilize what he has for the glory of God. And so the media room, I mean, he would be telling me this, Pastor, we need this. We need to get this done. We need this done this way, this way, the other way, the other way. And so he's been the single most guy up to the day in telling me what to get, how to get it. He's been on a radio broadcast with me quite a few times. So for those of you who figure you can't do anything, hey, hey, I'm talking. You can't do anything? That's a lie from the devil, in the prince of hell. He's doing something for Jesus, he's been radio broadcast, etc., etc. So Peter's going to give his testimony now, how he came to know Christ as a savior. And of course, I guess they want to know how you got in this particular position too. Thank you very much. It's a long story, but I try to keep it brief. But first of all, give our IT team a wonderful hand. Yeah. This is a tip from New Testament vision. I grew up for a well. It was me. I was working in the background of being vision to take advantage of the social media. That is powerful. We are, as young people, we know it. Let me closer. We all know how powerful the social media can be with a Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and what have you. And by the way, he does all of those, okay? He does all. That's right, power to our. Summertime is the best time for Jesus. Half in time. Give you a, I wish I could give you so many stories, but here's one of the stories. During half in time, I was, one of the, I was in one of the groups. Hold it, Mike, you I was in one of the groups. And during that time, everybody gets Friday. Half is coming. I have a chance to spread the gospel. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know many people say that say, but I sure know the gospel was spread in that room. It was silent. I'll give you another story. I remember you remember Basel at the end, right? Yes. Hawk and Floyd. Anyone remember Hawk and Floyd? It was coming. Tell you no lie. It was dark, very dark. One hundred jams, and all of them was playing reggae stuff. When I can get Calvin Floyd get closer to Nassau, 100 jam, and uh, some other station, more than from Love 97, then it's the nest. They always play in front, one of the jams playing the fundamental music. I was shocked. The Zenith was playing the charismatic music, Rasta Gary, but the rest was playing fundamental. And when Pastor Dean gave the clearance that Floyd moved away, you remember Brother Gary? They go on back to the regular stuff. Is that just they take no chance? The Spice Girl was here at the time. They continue to play gospel music and continue to make sure that I'll be a pass away. How I got saved, unusually, to a TV program, unusually, a charismatic program on the LNS. They took it off right after that. It was talking about tribulation, the doctor. I got frightened. He was talking about how we will then our rear will be coming in the tribulation, the beast of form, the beast of what you. But on a serious note, <laughs> I got saved. I wasn't taking out chat because um, my aunt who was a Christian. Um, before I got saved, I do it ready a long time ago. Grandfather opened me up to DXL, all the type of short bit radio, but again, you don't know what that C D and all of that. So I got saved to a TV program. But my aunt used to listen to a radio station called Trans World Radio. You know that, right, Brother Gary? I didn't get saved at the time, but when I got saved, I said, I want you to know the Bible. 
And that Bible came from where, Brother Gary? Radio, Dr. McGee. Dr. J. Bonnie McGee took me through the Bible for five years. Then I came to New Testament in 82. Then I met Brother Gary, Pastor Gary, and the rest is history. <laughs> you came in 86. Right. Where? Pastor, what the guy, you know, Pastor did to that time, Madeline. What do you but radio and TV play a wider role. In 2021, I would love to see New Testament uh, conference on the national voice. It is possible. You saw the part of path, you told them about the capacity of our streaming. The reason why it's possible, if we, we don't need Zionist production um, media, if we get Zionist production media, it be costly. If New Testament set up their network by 2021, all they gotta do is switch over to us and we carry it for three hours. You ask anybody how the political um, conventions carry, they don't use the television production no more. They have their own production. All they gotta do is switch over. Either they rent production, if we have our three cameras, we are ready by 2020. What? We got 5G. The young people know what is 5G. Okay, 5G and video stream simultaneously at the television speed of light, almost of light, when you go out the grass fast. All you gotta do is switch your joint network. They carry our conferences. So now I tell them how you got Peter Man P. That's my book, man. <laughs> That's my book. I'm, it's God ain't finished me yet. Honestly. I believe I may pray for my people. I might be called to preach. I may be called to do more evangelist work around the world. How I got like this, unusually, is true delivery. I bought only had nine days to live. I was a cat. The doctor wanted that to quickly operate on me and move on. Dad said, the mom was home, Dad said, you know what you're doing. He said, no, but we need to do it for the experiment, that's science. <laughs> so, mom was, you know, how ladies go. Keep day wondering about what's going to happen to me. And he took me to the evangelist service. He looked at me and he said, you know, he didn't pay him. Peter Murphy is going to move and walk in his own way. My dream was to be a get into mass communication. The reason why I didn't get into mass communication, the College of Bahamas at the time was not accessible. So what I had to do, I had to do my own communication. I introduced to the internet, a broadcast all around the world. Could have made millions if I wanted to. God got a hold of me at 18. If he didn't get a hold of me at 18, I probably would be on Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and so on. But he got a, got a hold of me at 18, got saved, and the rest is history. Enjoy the service. Thank you. <laughs> is named after his dad, so okay? So you got an idea of him, and we've enjoyed, of course, his mom, very dedicated, and his brothers and sisters, too, have a, have a great relationship with them, and we're always proud for Peter and his family. Okay.